as you set out for Ithaca, hope the voyage is a long one. Follow the venture, full of discovery. Lystragonians and Cyclops, angry Poseidon. Don't be afraid of them. You'll never find things like that along your way as long as you keep your thoughts raised high, as long as a rare excitement stirs your spirit and your body. Lystragonians and Cyclops, wild Poseidon. You won't encounter them unless you bring them along in your soul, unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hope the voyage is a long one. May there be many a summer morning when, with what pleasure, what joy, you come into harbour scene for the first time. May you stop at Phoenician trading stations to buy fine things, mother of pearl and coral, amber and ebony, sensual perfumes of every kind, as many sensual perfumes as you can. And may you visit many Egyptian cities to gather stores of knowledge from their scholars. Keep Ithaca always in your mind. Arriving there is what you are destined for. But do not hurry the journey at all. Better if it lasts for years, so you are old by the time you reach the island, wealthy with all you have gained on the way, not expecting Ithaca to make you rich. Ithaca gave you the marvellous journey. Without her, you would not have set out. She has nothing left you now. And if you find her poor, Ithaca won't have fooled you. Wise as you will have become, so full of experience, you will have understood by then what these Ithacas mean. <laughs>